Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number 32 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. I'm going to jump right into the problem. It's a really good problem because it reviews some core strategies on how to find the percent of a, pro of a number. All right, here we go. Number 32. Rudy needs to calculate 14% of 50. He does so by computing it in the following way. And then we have 50 times 14 over 100. Which of the following methods could Rudy also use to determine correctly the percentage? And then we have some options here. Now read this to yourself one time. Pause me. Unpause it. We have uh, this first statement here, 14% of 50. Um, whenever you're trying to find out a percent of a number, and it's written in this form, 14% of 50, there's a couple ways of uh, going about it. One way is to uh, convert the percent into a fraction. And that's what they did here. They did 14% and they made it into 14 over 100. Um, and if you really quickly, how you do that, whenever you have 14%, you could express it in, in terms of a fraction. 14% is equal to 14 over 100 or 14 hundredths. And if I wanted to go a step further and turn this 14 hundredths into a, uh, a decimal, well, that would be, uh, I, could, I could remove the percent sign here and move, move it over two spaces to the left like this. Or 14 hundredths could be expressed as 14 hundredths. That's how I read this one. Okay, so they went about turning that percent into a fraction, which is correct. Now, of is, I want you to remember this, of is another way, of is the same as multiplying. So whenever you see 14% of 50, that's like 14% times 50. Since we can't do 14% times 50, we turn the 14% into a fraction and we multiply it by 50. There's your multiplication sign. That's, what, that's where the of is. So 14% of 50 is the same as 50 times 14 over 100. All right. And maybe it's, maybe it's worthwhile to actually review how to do multiplication like this, a fraction times a whole number. I think the first step you want to do is turn that uh, whole number into another fraction. So let's rewrite this. I could write it as 50 over 1. Same thing as 50 times 14 over 100. Just, let's just get this review of how to multiply uh, fractions out and fraction times whole numbers out. Okay? These two things are going to get me the same answer. Well, I have this, uh, this problem here. Maybe I should start trying to reduce some of these fractions before I multiply out. This would be, I could reduce the 14 by 2 and the 100 by 2. 14 would become a 7, the 100 would become a 50. And I could even go a step further, and I could do some cross-reducing. I could re cross-reduce the 50, divide the top by 50, and this 50 would cancel out. It would become a 1. And I could divide the bottom by 50. This 50 would cancel out, and it would become a 1. And what you're left with is 7 over 1, or 7, being 14% uh, of 50. Okay, so maybe you... Uh, Maybe you can arrive at this expression here and you see how 14% of 50 equals 50 times uh, 14 hundredths. But maybe you're not crazy about this type of calculation actually solving the problem. So wherever you are on that, make sure that you can convert 14% of 50 into uh, an expression 50 times 14 over 100. And make sure that you're able to do the, actually solve a problem like that and do these calculations out. That's really important that you can get to the answer of 70. All right, let's continue. This is one way. There's a second way of finding the percent of a number, and that's turning the percent into a decimal. And we do that by, we could cross out the percent and move the decimal to the left two spaces. Remember, it's 14 hundredths or 14 hundredths. All I did was I literally drop the percent sign and I move the decimal over two spaces and I got to the decimal representation of 14%. Okay, so now we're, we have this problem. 
50 times 14 hundredths, right? And that's the answer here, E. Well, let's, let's just take it a step further, okay? Why, why do we have to do it a step further? Because it's really important to do it a step further. And let's practice multiplication with decimals. How would you do that? Well, first turn the decimal into a whole number. I move it to the right, the decimal two spaces to the right, and now I'm dealing with 14 times 50, which is a lot easier to work with. I just got to remember to move my answer two spaces back to the left. 14 times 50, the 0 gets a 0 in this first place, and I go to the next column. Uh, the tens column, 5 times uh, 4 is uh, 20, 5 times 1 is 5 plus the 2 is 7. It's not 700 because I have to remember to, since I moved it over two spaces to the right, i got to move it back two spaces to the left, so we get an answer of 7. 14% of 50 or 14 hundredths of 50 is 7. Again, getting to the same answer as this one right here. All right, these are two ways of finding the percent of a number. Turn the uh, percent into a fraction and multiply it, multiply it by that number, or turn the percent into a decimal and also multiply it by the number. Both of them are going to get you to the same answer, and they're both equally valid. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you like this video. There are many more ways to find out the percent of a number. Start with these two. Get these two under your belt before we do any others, okay? All right, take care, team. Have a great day. Bye-bye.